Starting off right here in Raid Hardpoint. We're looking at Minnesota Flopper to come off to a big start because, you know, they are the Raid guys. And, uh... Paris let down to the other side though. Wanna take it to him. We know this flopper team can fry, but can can Paris keep up with him with these new players in the league? Pharma and Aqua getting some kills off the rip. Uh Magic Mike, the only one left in Hill. Aqua looking for him. Takes him out. Tries to run away. Alex M with the pickup though. Killology still in Hill. Paris or er, uh, trying to fight this hill, big pinch behind him, Killology and Stuka looking to get this hill time, Proofio last one in hill, gets taken down, does pick up Stuka, but Paris getting the majority of this time off rip. Yeah, so far so good for the side of Paris, but right now they're having a bit of trouble breaking through the Sons. Minnesota doing such a great job of slowing down that push. Alex M, he's finding kills, but here comes Killology, he's gonna find a nice two before Stuka. Gonna try to push through this mid-map area, but so far so good for the hold on these P2 spawns from Minnesota despite this early P1 time going the way of Paris. Yeah, Minnesota looking to get this P2 side. They got a lot of they got a lot of people allocated and Aqua just fries everybody off the hill. Big dog picks up the scraps, but Stuka's in hill now, and that's an easy break for Paris off the bat of those crazy shots from Aqua and Killology sitting at 7-0, by the way, with streaks. Looking to get that cruise, but it's all Paris right now. Yeah, and finally, Killology, he's going to be in the back of the setup. Aqua, he's trying to break in through money. He's going to be able to find one, but Proofio quickly cleaning up. Big Dog going to push in the back now, going to run straight into Killology. That's going to secure him the cruise missile. But Proofio, he's been the man on the hill at this point in time, going absolutely huge for the team, but eventually going to get taken down by Aqua. The rest of his team spawning up towards this water side, and with 20 seconds left on this hill, we're going to look to see this rotation, which is already coming through. Proofio going to be at that P3, trying to set up for his team yeah proofio knows how important this time is all of minnesota flopper at this new hill uh big dog picking up the scrap causing uh player one there to spawn out killology and crew though have a shot at this 3v3 on site right now proofio gets the first blood killology trades him out and uh it's a battle on hill right now magic mike it's a 1v1 between alex m and killology and he's staying alive behind this truck it's a full-fledged push right now from paris letdowns but proofio is trying to stop it Minnesota Flopper, the ones in the hill, getting that time. Player 6 and 8, though, off the back. All of Paris is on this hill right now. Proofio, though, is trying to stop it. Gets a big two-piece, but the time is in favor of Paris right now. Unless Big Dog can pick up this big kill. It's back and forth, Zentrix, and I don't know what's going on. Yeah, these teams are so close right now. This hill, it's being so scrappy. Realistically, the only thing that's really put Paris ahead so far in this matchup has been that solid P1 that they got while Minnesota was trying to set up for spawns, and even then did not get that P2 time. So right now, this is really just a battle for this P3, but we're going to go ahead and see this rotation. Big Dog with a nice two-piece, going to get that scrap time on the P3. Going to be huge for them to keep up in this game. As Perufio, that's a couple of nice shots on the Farmer right there. And Paris, they're going to be spawning up on this P4, looking to hold it as Minnesota makes a very spread out push. Yeah, Minnesota brings it back with in 10 and uh, know they have to make a push on this backside. Uh, they got Proofio set up in the back here, but Alex Andrews looking to get to him. Aqua getting this kill onto him. That's such a big kill. Now, Minnesota Flopper cut across the map, and it's just Proofio in the back now. All alone. Gets taken down, and this time's going all in favor. Paris letdowns. Aqua and Killology sitting at a combined 30 and 12 right now, just frying across the board. And it's the reason this Paris team is winning. Minnesota Flopper need to bounce back quick if they want to make a run, because Paris looking to go up 120 to 50 at the end of this P5 first rotation. Or yeah, cool. absolutely fine right now from the side of Paris, but here comes the push from Minnesota, though. It might be a little too late for this time. It's going to get the scrap, but here comes the rotation from Paris. Looks like they're going to give up this P4. Head towards this P5. Really looking for that new time, but here comes Minnesota. They got taken off of that P4, so they're going to be having the rotation. Killology top right. Going to get kill. taken down by Alex. It's going to be absolutely huge. Like you're saying, and here comes the wipe that's going to be a clean slate for Minnesota as we get started towards this P5 and on to the new rotation. Yeah, Paris letdowns might be in the lead right now, but Alex or Proofio really putting on for the team, sitting at 16 and 11 right now. Rest of the team trying to get these kills, and you know, they're picking it up. They're getting a lot of this P5 time, Proofio, really shutting it down. You know, these Paris, they're trying to fly through that zig, get these kills. Killology, though, he's in this ring area. It's just pinches from all ways. Uh, Minnesota flopper. Lag out of the game, and uh, this is not uh -huh. looking good, Zentrix. Yeah, uh, we're definitely having a bit of connection issues at the moment. A 120 to 70 is going to be your score line. Made so. hard point, good side. Let's see if they can collapse and, you know, take advantage of this great opportunity they have. Minnesota Flopper and crew looking to take care of that point, but they're going to have to win this first break. 
Yeah, some more breaks off the rip, but here comes Alex M. He's gonna win that early gunfight against Aqua. That's gonna be so huge, but Pharma, he's gonna find one Magic Mike with a quick trade. It's a two versus two on the hill, but the reinforcements from Minnesota are there much faster. Aqua, he's able to find another one, but Alex M. Had a bit of a slow start, gonna change it up towards this side. He's finding all these early kills. He's finding early fours. Five. He's gonna be five and one in Minnesota. They're gonna have the early start that we need them to see. They're gonna get this early time, and it looks like they're gonna do their best to hold on to those spawns as they try to make this a quick change. Took Alex M a long time, but he warmed up and he is ready to play. Starting off six and one, six and two now, but playing so good for Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota know where this one player is, and they're going to be able to get him out, hopefully. Trying to get some kills, get taken down by Proofio, but Minnesota in a much better spot at the start of this hard point than the first one. I mean, they look like a different team on this map. Yeah, definitely. They're being able to take advantage of those positional errors from Paris. The preams are coming in now. Alex has come alive. Proofio doing his thing, and the rest of his team is doing such a great job of supporting him. Magic Mike is definitely the standout. He's rose to the occasion as well, but here comes the push from Paris. Aqua gets taken down, and Proofio is piecing like always. Pharma, though, he's able to find that scene, get the trade, but Minnesota... They're doing such a great job of getting back on this point, making sure that they always have someone in position for these trades, get these kills, and get in the point. It's fantastic work from Minnesota to get right back into the game. The play of pace, the pace of play is just so fast in this game right now. I mean, it's only P2, and Alex M is already at eight and six. I mean, so many interactions on the map. Eight and two for Proofio. They're up sixty to around twenty now, going into this. This That's garage huge. hill, they have control. They're gonna get a lot of this time. Alex M's getting the rotation kills. Only six seconds left, and Paris letdowns are nowhere near this hill. They need to regroup, and you know, that 50-point lead, it's kind of in the back of your head now if you're Minnesota flopper. You're not really thinking about it as much. Yeah, that's so huge. The game is about to be tied up here as... Uh, Minnesota hits that 80 point margin and Alex M he's holding the right pre aims his duo picks up another two and Minnesota have found their way right back into this map they weren't down by much but they're cleaning it up Rufio he's finding oh, all the kills God, gets guys. taken down by Stuka though gonna be a great trade from him Alex he's holding these pre aims Killology they're gonna be able to sweep right back into art and here comes the mounting push from the side of Paris Aqua he's gonna get taken down Farmer flies out he's gonna die as well but Killology he might find the opening that they ever so need 20 seconds left on the timer for this p3 So we're already seeing this rotation two players. That's gonna be Proofio and Alex They're doing a great job of rotating out through this pull side aqua gets taken down and that's all resistance from Paris shut down Killology up on rotation against this duo of Alex and Proofio so hard to fight But he's gonna have to take him down with his team right here There are three Paris letdowns players behind him and just Alex and Proofio trying to take him down Alex and with a big one there's two behind here. There's one more. And uh, Proofio just take, picks up the time, and he's waiting for his teammate, making the good play. Not dying. Pharma gets taken down by Big Dog. And Minnesota Flopper just coming out so strong in this game. Proofio, 14-4. and four. Alex M with 15-8. and eight. It's just it's just a bloodbath for the duo right now, and I love to see it. Zentrix is a crazy so game. Someone's got to help Proofio and Hill here. He's getting wiped by three <laughs> people, but he keeps picking up pieces. This is the guy who's been going absolutely off throughout the first half. That first map that we saw, he was going absolutely crazy, keeping his team in the game single-handedly. And now that Magic Mike stepped up to the plate, Big Dog, he did insane things throughout that first half. And now Alex M has stepped it up. The guy was 5-15 and 15 in that first uh, that first rotation that we saw before host drop. Guys, 17-9 and nine now. Everybody on Minnesota has done exactly what we needed to see. They all came alive, and they're able to shut down everybody on pay. Paris. This is exactly what we need to see from one of these two teams, and Minnesota are doing it so, so well. Paris is just getting spawn trapped right now. They're all stuck in this open stairs area, and now Minnesota knows it. They just have them where they want on the map. Magic Mike just picking up these easy kills. Last three are flooded through open steps. Magic Mike picked up another one. Picks up another one with Big Dog, and that's all four down for Paris. Last one alive is Killology, looking to get one. Takes down Proofio on the rotation, but it's 175 to 30, Zentrix. This game is nowhere near close, and Minnesota Flopper are frying right now. 
Yeah, it's, it's just absolutely dominant. Even with the added 50-point bonus that Paris Letdown gets, this is still looking on par to be a 100-point club, but I'm not going to count out Paris just yet. Aqua having a bit of a slow, rough start, double negative right now, but we saw what he could do in that first set rotation before the host drop as he absolutely burns Magic Mike there. If he can turn it up just a little bit, I'm not willing to count out Paris just yet, especially considering they only need 170 points, but the rotation back to P1. That's only our second rotation, and now we're looking set for another fantastic group of play. Yes, Minis Bears may be in the hill right now, but the way Minnesota's frying, they may not be in there for long. There's three players pushing out of that art area, and Perfio's getting all the kills. Killology with a big three, though. He's on a six streak, looking for those streaks. Killology with a big three piece in the hill. He's one off streaks, like I just said, and you know, this could be a game changer for them. If he can get these streaks and string some kills together, this could be huge for them. Yeah, he's in position to do it. He's going to be able to find the one onto Alex, make it a second onto Magic. So those streaks confirmed. That's going to be a cruise missile and artillery. So that's going to be huge when we get around to, to these P4, those P5s. Going to be absolutely massive. Stuka gets taken down mid-map. The presence there from Minnesota. And honestly, these 10 seconds are absolutely huge for Minnesota right now. Everything you get that edges you closer to a victory is fine with you. You don't need the 100-point club. You don't need to dominate this team. You need the win because you'd be giving Paris their first map loss of the game. Any scrap time you can get is good scrap time. And Prufio, he's looking to make the break through the back as his team hits the pressure on the front. Alex M, Prufio, the duo in the back. They're finding all the kills. Stuka's going to be the last remaining player's player in the front. He's got help from his reinforcements from Pillars. But here comes the push. Big Dog, Magic Mike, they're finding the kills. Prufio's there as well. They're finding all the kills inside the point. They're four in. They're finding the kills. They're finding the trades. Prufio! <laughs> Are you kidding off. me? This on guy a is 28 and 11. He's just doing it all for the Minnesota flopper right now. Alex M doing his best to do the same. Picks up a quick two-piece. Aqua picks it up. But Minnesota flopper within 27 points of winning this game. Big Dog with a big two pieces back and forth in this game. If they get the rest of this time, it's going to be over for Paris right now. This, this time is worth fighting for, but they have to go on the rotation. And... Minnesota even has time to rotate off of it. They're going to get... Oh, big dog. With the <laughs> in the ring. That was crazy. And he spawns up old. That's a big kill for big dog. Suka in art right here. Gets taken down by Alex M. It's a 3v2 on hill. Can player 5 see him? He takes him down in the corner. It's a 1v4 on hill. Kill Ology versus 4. And he gets taken down instantly. And there's only 7 seconds left. And Paris letdowns are across the map. This game might be over before it started. Big dog is taken down. But Aqua doesn't have enough time to get to hill. And it's a map win for Minnesota to fly. 250 to 124 if we count the 50 points but Zentrix that game was insane a uh, absolute bloodbath from the side of Minnesota flopper playing amazing looking a lot like the Paris team did on that first start yeah I don't know what happened I don't know if Paris just got a little iced I don't know if if the host change made yeah, everything this map is going to be a bloodbath and you know Paris let down the crew sending it that a site let's see if Minnesota flopper are ready it looks like they were pushing for that B hit so Paris let downs maybe on you know the hot side but you know, this is going to be a great game. I want to see what Paris gives us. And right now, they're giving us a nice A push. Proofio with the first blood, though. That's huge in the grand scheme of things. You know, slowing up that A push for his teammates, you know, get in position to stop it. Yeah, and he put, did a great job of playing his life there. He just backed up. He sees Kellogg not going to challenge that. He's going to sub. So that first pick, get in, get out, clean. Going to be exactly what this Minnesota team needed. And Magic Mike, he was on the flank, but got a bit of damage put into him. And there goes Kellogg. But Aqua, he flies out, finds one, almost finds the second, but Big Dog does such a great job of getting away. He's going to run into that fourth player again and take him down. That's Stuka, and now Aqua in the one versus three. And Minnesota did a great job of playing their life throughout this entire round. And it looks as if Alex M does know Bomb is down. Aqua with a big kill onto Big Dog there, leaving Alex M and Prufio in the 1v2 with Bomb down. Alex M just standing right on top of that Bomb site, and Prufio trying to pinch around, making sure he can't get away from this bus, but Aqua... Taking his time to, you know, push up to this Alex M. He knows bomb down. He knows he needs it. But Prufio, so far away, probably won't end up with enough time to plant it anyway. Yeah, with, that's just perfect play out of the duo right there. You know, they got the kills. Their teammates doing such a great job. Big Dog picked up that two-piece. And once bomb was down, all they really had to do was just make sure that there was no way that Aqua could plant the bomb. 1v3, impossible. And a great fundamentally played round by Minnesota. All the players doing their job, playing their lives. That's exactly what you want to see out of the team. Yeah, Alex and Proofio doing a great job not throwing that round away at all, you know. Um, getting around to Ness, Proofio did, just to be able to run away 
if he needed to, and he did so. Alex M did the same. Knew he couldn't plant the bomb and made the right play. Big defense for the boys. And trying to take it on that offensive side as well. Paris Letdown's looking to bounce back. Aqua already on that three streak. Yeah, that's the silver lining that Paris have. They have that ability to say, all right, Aqua, you can play for your streaks. You already got a nice three. If, if he can light up a couple of this round, a couple next round, he'll be right on his way. And that'll go along the line of getting the next two round wins. Here comes Aqua. He's going to chow out, hold this cross. And here comes Alex. He peeks around the corner, dies to Killology. The clean shot's there from the AR. So that's going to shut down Alex. And that's going to be one of the ARs from Minnesota dropped dead end. Yeah, Minnesota flopper in the 3v4 now. In a tough situation on that offensive side, Bomb also down on that outer side. Not looking good if you're Minnesota. Maybe you want to make a play through this mid-map side, get some picks, because as of now, Big Dog with the big kill evens it up on the board. Uh, Paris letdowns all over this map, and uh, Minnesota Flopper still without the bomb, unable to make a play yet. Aqua almost picks up Big Dog, but it's a reset for Minnesota. Yeah, Minnesota have gained a bit of momentum, and they've almost kind of fooled uh, Paris into thinking that they're going towards B. Uh, they've kind of started their rotation, too. The player is already fully committing, but the bomb is down towards A. So this might be exactly what Minnesota need to get back in this round if they can get an A plan off here. Magic Mike going to come around the corner to support Proof Yo as he tries to put this bomb down. And Paris... They're, they're smelling the fish in the sea right now. They're figuring out that the jig is up, basically. But here comes the challenge. Aqua gets taken down by Big Dog. This guy has been huge with the crucial kills, and that's going to put Minnesota in the three versus two with Bomb Down. Big Dog, the unsung hero, sitting at four and one at the start of this s and Such big kills with that Craig, getting the first blood and that big kill into Aqua. In a 3v2, Paris Letdowns looking to make a play on that site. Player 2 already on site, but the pinch coming behind him for Magic Mike. 1v2 now, and Magic oh. Mike with a big gunfight. Minnesota Flopper go up 2-0. to zero. Big start for them. Paris Letdowns just have no answer right now. Yeah, just... that that was I think that was a pretty set round for Paris to win, right? And then Big Dog makes a huge play. Because you have to think, if he gets that kill anywhere else, I don't think they rotate. I don't think they give Proofio the ability to pick up the bomb and get the plant. Right, so that was a truly incredible play by Big Dog. He's made the big play uh, twice this game for both of the round wins, going absolutely insane right now. Five and one, they've shut down the streak from Aqua, and so that's going to be a, a game end. Something's happening there. So Minnesota Flop are going to have the two round advantage as uh, we try to figure out this lobby issue. Yeah, second map in a row, we've had a reset. So, you know, you got to think, Zentrix, what's going on there in this lobby? It's got to be something, but, you know, we'll get we'll get it back to you as soon as we know what happened. But, you know, what a great start for Minnesota Flopper, really carrying that momentum through the map one into that map two. Big dog making those big plays, like you were saying. Starting off five and one, didn't expect it out of the guy, but he is the, the MVP of that map so far. Yeah, definitely. The, those two plays out of Big Dog were absolutely uh, massive. It was... Uh... It was, it was absolutely incredible for both of those plays, and I think that's really something that we have to give that guy credit for. Uh, it was the uh, the class swap glitch, by the way, guys. Uh, uh, the score screen or uh, the class. I've never had it myself, so I don't know what it looks like, but uh, I know that it has happened to multiple people uh, in my own lobbies. Uh, but game quickly ended. Game getting reset now. So Minnesota, they're going to be up two to nothing as uh, we head into this round number three. <laughs> Yeah, Minnesota up 2-0, going into this defense too, not a spot you want to be in if you're Paris. You want to be on that defensive side. So they're going to have to win this offensive round unless they want to go down 3-0 in this map. Um, they're sending it toward that A site. And uh, Paris, you know, playing this default, you know, this is what they've been running on these offenses and, you know, has been working for them. So maybe they change something up. They're pushing through these Eskies area, but Minnesota Flopper seem to be ready with Alex and Prufio on A site. Yeah, here comes Stuka. He's going to fly around the corner and shut down Alex. It's going to be such a huge kill. But Big Dog, talk about the guy making big plays. And Pharma Whoa. doesn't even know Proofio's right next to him. The kills are in. It's going to be a three versus two. Magic Mike, this is a huge kill for him, but he's not going to be able to get it. The nade is in, but the info is there. Big Dog pre-aims it. Going to be able to get that kill. And I'm not going to lie to you. That host swap might take away a little bit from Minnesota because if that host swap isn't there... If that, that lobby switch, that lobby glitch isn't there, Big Dog's on a five-kill streak. Yeah, uh, Big Dog sitting at 7-1 and one right now if we take that you know into account. Not the 
not a not the guy I was expecting, but he is absolutely frying right now. I am a big dog fan, big fan of big dog. That is me right now. <laughs> Proofio picking up the big two piece in that kill cam, such a big kill in that side of the map. And uh, Minnesota flopper just popping on all cylinders right now. Up 3-0, big dog on the five streak, on the two streak actually. Proofio doing the same. This team unstoppable. Paris need to turn it around quick. This defense is what I need to start it. To be honest, I kind of want to see Paris slow down a little bit. Usually, uh, like. They're playing just a little bit too fast for my uh, liking. You know, they make a rotation, they make a quick decision when they really should just wait for a little bit more info. They're playing a little bit too fast on the offenses, not clearing their angles. The trades are in right now. Proofio with a nice little beam there onto Aqua to catch the trade. And that's kind of the stuff I'm talking about. Aqua pushing up middle there is such a fast place play that it really can almost cost you. Sure, you get the pick, but... At that point, it, it, it's almost a questionable play because your trade is quickly there. You're giving up sight, oh. and that's going to be a huge kill. Now, Killology in the one versus two, and Bomb and is going to for bomb. sure taking it to B. Yeah, Magic Mike making the god play, pushing B Street. Love it out of the guy. Killology still thinks his Bomb is at A, and it just got planted at the B site right now. Magic Mike holding that exit. Alex M watching the street. I mean, this is just a... This is, I'm gonna, this is a round of applause for the Minnesota Flopper because Magic Mike making the big play on that B Street. Killology still has a chance to win, but so far this has been such a good round out of Minnesota. Yeah, they just need to play their lives, but Killology, he's going to be able to find the first one onto Big Dog. Now the last guy, Magic Mike, he has to play for about 13 seconds here. That's all he really has to do is just play the timer, but he's holding the pre and gets taken down by Killology. Wow. He swung that corner and he's going to be able to take him down. So that's going to be Paris's first round win. Going to be the first one throughout this matchup. So while the scoreboard does say one to one, uh, right now, Minnesota leading up 3 1. Yeah, Killology is doing a great job of, you know, soloing these chows. Takes out Magic Mike with a quick, quick crouch shot in the Krig is a pretty good gun so it takes them out gets the defuse big start for paris and that's what i was saying this is where it starts for them now, if they want to turn it around it started with that defense and you know going to this offense i'm expecting a big play out of them i need a big play if they want to win this round yeah so paris kind of did uh it was really just relying on the back of killology obviously we saw big dog be the huge player throughout pretty much all of these rounds to be honest uh, and now Killology going to be that go-to guy for Paris, at least starting to look like it. But Minnesota back on the defensive. This is definitely the spot that you want to be in. Defense, you have a lot more wiggle room to make mistakes. And the info coming in from Magic. He's not going to be able to pick up any kills. Actually, he flies around and takes down Stuka. He missed all the first shots, but quickly rebounds, catches that kill, and the info is in. He knows that there's at least multiple players inside the middle of the map. Nades are coming through. Aqua's backing up. The players from Paris are splitting up, so they've got a wide array of map control right Right now and it looks like the info is coming from killology they're gonna wrap this around to b street yeah minnesota flopper though looking to make that adjustment player five and eight rotating around that's proofio and magic mike looking to get these kills magic mike posted up in this corner trying to push the street and he sees two pharma and killology get kills at the same time leaving mm -hmm. alex m in the ever so hated 1v3 alex m might be able to get one on this player three but you know as of now he, he's in a 1v2 with bomb down yeah, so 40 seconds on the clock. This is definitely doable for the boy, Alex M. He went absolutely massive in the map one, and he's looking to clutch up here for the map two. Not going to be able to do it. Paris is going to take him down, and that's going to get the scoreline a bit of a bit closer. You know, it's going to make it a bit of a close one. Going to be 3-2 to two for favor of Minnesota. Yeah, Paris really turned it around that it's a big offensive round. If they can string together this defense, you know, it's going to put them at 4-3. to three. And uh, Paris, you know, really bringing it back right now. It's up to Minnesota right now to shut down that momentum on this uh, offensive side. I mean, M Paris made the big play that I was talking about. Killology, by the way, on a six streak. Got the artillery, and he's 7-1 off of this restart. Such a big game out of him. He's frying with that, that Krig, and uh, Minnesota have no response to it. Yeah, this guy, it, realistically, the only reason why we're not seeing a Minnesota flopper up 5-0 at this point, you know? 7-1 is absolutely massive. Make it 8-1. and one. That's going to solidify the artillery. So that streak is going to be so huge come later in the game. And here comes the flank from Stuka. That's going to be number 4 as he's inside the gold area trying to make uh, make life a little bit difficult for Minnesota. They're a bit stunted in the tracks. And this is kind of a similar situation that we saw uh, the first round. And Big Dog not going to be able to make that big play as the push comes in. Magic Mike stuck open. Proofio finds the opening kill onto Pharma, but he's going to have to ace in order to win this round. Yeah, Proofio in a 1v3 right now. 
Bomb is down and all of Paris all over the map looking for him. Profio kind of just, you know, playing his time. He's got 37 seconds, so not much to work with. But he really doesn't want to give Killology any more kills. I think he has an idea that he's on a big kill streak right now and he's scared of that cruise missile playing it so well. But Paris Letdown's looking to win this round easily. Uh, Profio just don't want to give that kill away. Yeah, I think he's just looking to find this kill. He knows where one player is. He's going to hold the angle. He's looking to find that kill. Not going to be able to do it. Just doesn't want to take the challenge. Aqua flies up the Eskies. And that's going to even up the game. 3-2-3. Three, three. And Minnesota are going to go back on the defensive side. So they're in a good spot uh, to take the lead back if they can just execute. Such a big bounce back out of uh, Paris on the heels of Killology on that uh, streak he's on right now. Still on that 7th streak looking for that cruise missile. And uh, you got to be a big fan of Paris right now going forward. They're making plays and they're having confidence where they did not have it before. We saw Minnesota Flopper making some big plays around the map. You know, Magic Mike on that B Street. Big Dog making big plays like we said earlier. And they just haven't been able to do so in these last couple of rounds. And Paris looking to make another play. They're going B Street. Yeah, they, they're going B Street. They'll have the artillery ping and the shells. They've got the full capacity of the streak, but they're not going to need it for that explosion. Zok was going to pick up Big Dog with the grenade, but Magic Mike in this cruddy spot. He sees the info for two players. He's going to hop through. He's managed to get a nice timing, so nobody's here yet. But he Aqua, didn't see him. Aqua! He doesn't see Aqua! He's going to be able to find down Stuka, but Aqua's there quickly for the trade. Oh, that should have been a kill for him, but he probably would have gotten traded. So the situation relatively the same, but at some point or another, Pharma has gone down. So it's the duo versus the duo. Alex M and Profio versus Killology and Aqua. <laughs> Killology won a lot of AR gunfights against Alex, but not this time as Aqua now putting the one versus two. Aqua trying to make a play. He gets... Gets Alex M on the one shot, gets the kill, but he does not know where Profio is. He has no info on where he is, tries to run straight across, and Profio is looking at the right spot. Doesn't get the kill, though. Profio with that SMG, unable to pick up those shots. Aqua with the free plant, but he he doubles back, and Profio's kind of reading it. He, Profio's, uh, Aqua's looking for the chase, and he's going back to B, but Profio's still at B. This is actually crazy. There's only five oh, seconds left, and he no. hasn't got the bomb down, and Profio's literally just pre-aiming at nothing, and Aqua loses the round. The misplay does not get the bomb down, and Profio, with the nice 1v1 win, I'll be honest, but he really didn't do much. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know about that play, Aqua. That's the, one of those times where you kind of just have to full send it. If you're worried that he's chasing, you can hold the heady, but honestly, it, you have to just plant the bomb. The win condition there, uh, sure, it's, it's, the, it's the kill. You know, uh, it, it, you can get that, but the bomb is so important. And with eight seconds left, if he's chasing you there, you kind of just have to give up the round one anyways. Uh, it, it's really difficult there. Uh, but unfortunately, Aqua not going to be able to win that 1v1. So Minnesota are back up with the edge 4-3. to three, And it looks like they have a bit of a, a, a new play up their sleeve. Yeah, Paris at three on B right now, but Minnesota going toward that B. And uh, they get taken out on that first blood, but... You know, it's a 3v4 now for Minnesota, you know, trying to make a B play, unable to, you know, get to a right spot and get first blooded, you know, kind of a tough situation if you're Minnesota. They're looking to get a free kill to, you know, kind of even it up. But, you know, right now they're kind of just staring at nothing. Yeah, Killology, he's going to follow it up. So that's going to put Profio and Big Dog in the 4v2. But Profio finds the first kill. That's going to be huge uh, on Destuka. And Al uh, Aqua is now the person that's looking for streaks. But Profio shuts that down. He aims at Killology, gets the shots in. But here comes Pharma with the bait and switch. And now Minnesota going back on the defensive. And we're, we're tied up 4-4. This is a very, very close game. Yeah, this game looks to be going the distance. Trying to round out at that 5-5. Five, five. Profio trying to pick up this dub. Gets Aqua off those streaks, but unable to win the round. Uh, big kill on those streaks, though. You know, keeping it 4-4. Four to four, No streaks in hand. You know, we're back to 0-0. Zero to zero, first to two. Killology 9-2 right now. Aqua looking at 7-4. and four. Prufio on the side of Minnesota Floppers and at 7-4 seven, seven and four right now off that reset. We need a little more life out of Minnesota Flopper if they want to close out this game. I feel like the ball is in Paris's court right now. Yeah, the, the round ones that Minnesota have gotten have kind of been just slipping by, uh, edge of their teeth kind of stuff. And Killology still has the streak to use, which could be used post-plant or as an entry or as a deterrent. Uh, kind of the situational use of it unclear, but 
Rufio. He takes his gunfight and narrowly wins it out against Aqua, but here comes Stuka. He finds one. Not going to be able to find out anything else. Kind of have to back up. And so the bomb going to be able to go down on this A site, and Minnesota are going to have to play this retake. It, it, it's going to look hairy. The crossfires are going to be set up from Paris. Flying through Eskies, Minnesota, looking to make a play. Nobody really watching it right now, but now they, and they know they're there. We got player one sitting deep back. It's Killology looking at that flank, but Alex M and crew get a kill. And there's one more in that off office area. Killology looking to pick up some kills on the entry because Pharma is Hop the it. only one in that area. They have time to hop it, but Proofio and Alex M still not sure where they are. Yeah, they, they could have popped it there, but Pharma, he wastes just enough time. He's going to find that kill, and they don't know where this other one player is. They're going to have to hop the bomb, and it's going to be Alex M. He's going to hop it. He's got the time in his court. Proofio, he takes the gunfight. It's not there, though, Alex M. I think you could have had it. I think if you stick that bomb, I think you get the defuse. But he goes for the kill. He's going to find it, uh, but it's just so close. Yeah, kind of a tough situation for... Uh... For Alex M and Proofio, Killology making the good play, playing uh, Deep Spawn, and you know, playing that re-push, you know, get him off bomb at the right time, which is what they did. He uh, put his team in a good position, and now they're up 5-4. to four. Minnesota looking to push it to a 5-5, five five, but in the offensive position, you know, Minnesota haven't been looking too good off of this restart. You know, you expect Paris to close this out, but Minnesota with a chance to make a 5-5. Five five. Yeah, it's it's so it's just so unbelievably close. I think that round, uh, maybe Alex M didn't have any really need to go for that kill to prevent any further streaks, uh, but it just looked so close. But at the end of the day, we're on to the next round, and that's what Proofio and Alex M are doing. Alex, he slides out after Proofio finds the trade, but the players from Paris are in a position. They find those kills, and now it's Magic Mike and Big Dog. They're going to look to clutch up in this 2v3. Magic Mike and Big Dog. Big Dog gets taken out by Stuka, get, leaving Magic Mike in a 1v3, gets taken down, and that's the win for Paris Letdowns, winning the game 6-4 to four off that restart. We saw a completely different S&D team from Paris after that scan and repair from Proof, or that class switch, my bad. But uh, So, uh, it's really going to come down to, to who wins this map. Uh, like a lot of series, this swing map is definitely going to be the control. Yeah, this map, you got to leave it all out on the field right now if you're Minnesota because Paris, you can't let them win this, send it to their host on hardpoint. Proofio knows so much, and uh, he's on this hill. He knows with Alex M and him, he can take it to the victory, but Stuka and crew is trying to stop him. First blood in the way of Proofio on that hill, but Alex M still on that point. That goes three down for the side of Paris, and uh, two Minnesota players pushing toward that B side. Love that play out of them, and now they got two sites of uh, pressure right now, and they don't know where to stop it. Yeah, I think it, uh, Magic hit oh, almost. Gosh. Uh, the team, the nade on himself is going to prevent him from capturing that second tick, but they're spawning up on this B side. Alex M, he slides out, finds that kill, finds a second one onto Killology. The pressure was in on this B zone. Big Dog pushed into Kitchen to watch for this wrap back around. Aqua, though, with the great stun, the great flash, making that perfect read. And right now, one tick going to go through on the B zone, but Big Dog is doing his best to hold him off. Going to get taken down, though. But Alex, 4-1, trying to do his mark on this BB zone. Yeah, Minnesota Flopper doing a great job of going back and forth on these points. They haven't been getting too many ticks, but they're putting a lot of pressure, making Paris run back and forth. And, you know, they're only down two in lives, one now. If Rufio can get this kill, that's a huge kill out of Rufio. A lot of pressure on the map for Minnesota. And they're on that B point. There's one player left in Killology in money. He's trying to take out two right now. There's a full player on B. And uh, Minnesota Flopper looking to get some kills. Killology with another big kill on a four streak. He's the man to hold it in the back. He's making sure they get these kills. Yeah, the guy's absolutely slaying right now. We saw it in the S&D. He's brought it over into the control. And these pushes have been relatively staggered from the side of Minnesota. They get on a point, but they're not able to do much with it. But these entry kills should be able to give them a break onto A. Stuka finds the quick trade onto Alex, though. But they've already got two members from Minnesota on this point. Big Dog, Magic, they're doing what they can. Magic it, finds magic a nice might. two. That's, that's a huge kind of, kills. Yeah, that's some that's huge good. kills for the side of Minnesota. Flopper, those those that, Magic Mike and Big Dog, that's A gone. And they can run over to B right now. It's a bloodbath over on the A site, even though it's... Cons and Alex M's going to the B site. And Minnesota Flopper's over in that laundry area. Paris let down spawning so close, that's going to be rough for them. Minnesota Flopper all over the map right now, looking to regain and restart on this push. Big Dog with a big kill in the back, starting that push. Yeah, but Paris do have a one-life lead. Not much, but 
We've seen rounds between these two teams come down to that one life advantage, but here comes the kills. They find two. Aqua, though, he manages to find a quick trade. Gonna get taken down. The Kill. kills are in. B point is cleared. They've got two on it. The reinforcements are flying through. That's gonna be magic. He's trying to get onto this point, but he's also watching this open steps. He turns around at the wrong time. Stuka able to find a huge two, and Alex M gets taken down. Five to six life count. They've got two ticks through. One wave clear should do it for Minnesota. Duka might be the X factor in this round. Such a big play through that open steps, but it's not over yet. Minnesota Flopper have four lives left. These are the last four lives, and Magic Mike picks up one on the farm. Aprufio pushing over that side. He takes out Stuka. That's two dead in a 4v3. Minnesota on the map. Magic Mike pushing out. Killology, what a crazy play. Magic Mike just flying out. It's a 2v4, though, on that B point now. Pharma with the big. That's a 2v2 now. Alex M, that's a 1v1. Alex M versus Pharma with 33 seconds left. I don't know what's going to happen, Zendrix. This is going to be crazy. they got a lot of time. Yeah, this is crazy. So, wow. Great plays all around. And like like I said earlier in this round, it, it can come down to the one versus one. I think Pharma has the info. He knows where Alex M now. He definitely knows where he is. And Alex M is pre the wrong thing. He sees the info. Oh. He gets the headshot. And he's able to win that round. Minnesota, one life advantage to win round number one. Alex M potentially unintentionally holding that back umbrella and not able to be seen by Pharma gets taken down in that top cutout area. Stuka with the big plays I was talking about, but it wasn't enough. Alex M making that big 1v1 play to close out round one. And that's a big round if you're Minnesota flopper. Alex M with 10 and 6 off that round one. This defense is so big now. Yeah, this defense is going to be where it really comes to fruition. And after a loss like that, Paris have to get a quick regain going. Understand that, you know, it really was only one life. It was that slight difference that made all of the difference in the end. And now Alex M, he's going to get taken down. Aqua helps out Killology as they find all the kills. Proofio finds a small return, but the dividends are already in. Paris are on A. The ticks are through. They're already one and a half. And now the retake has to come through from Minnesota. Magic Mike is here, though, looking to pick up some kills. Gets Stuka, does not get Killology. Slowing down the cap on that A site. But Minnesota Flopper not ready to, you know, shut it down yet. They're going to give up that A point, but they need to make sure that they don't get toward that B site. Proofio picking up kills on a three streak, keeping Paris in their spawn. But right now, Minnesota have to focus on that B point. Yeah, they have to do what they can, and they've kind of given up a little bit too much water control. No one cut out, no one basketball court, and it's going to be hard for them to wrap back around. Killology finds a nice opening pick, but the push is in from Pillars, the push is in from Open. The kills are flying through. Proofio gets taken down, but all three players from Paris have agglomerated inside of P5, and Big Dog is there. Magic Mike, Alex M, they all find one, and that's going to reset the push from Paris as Minnesota gain a one-life advantage. Yep, Kitchen was the blender in that situation, and Minnesota turned it on high because they got all those kills, and now Paris all off spawn, and Minnesota are exactly where they want to be. They can, uh, they don't have to worry about that A site anymore. They know they just need to make sure they can't get B. Alex M right here playing so smart in the middle gets one off P5 by Killology with a big two-piece. Pharma and crew pushing through. That's three down for Minnesota Flopper, and Paris have an easy highway onto that A site or that B site, but two big kills in the side of Minnesota Flopper. It's back and forth, and nobody's in control of the point right now, but Minnesota Flopper are defending. Yeah, and Big Dog's doing such a great job of staying in that top power position, playing his life. He's forced Aqua to come all the way back around from middle of the map to kill him, and that's going to finally get that power position back in their hands. Minnesota down at two lives at this point, and Stuke has just been living in this spawn. The point is cleared. Three players from Paris are going to hop on this A zone, or this B zone, rather, and one player going to be up in that back apartment area. The ticks are going through fast. Two are already done. Big Dog, he's looking for these kills, looking to find the entry. The push is in. Aqua flies for it. He's finding those kills. Killology gets another one. The piece has to come through from Proofio in order to stop it. He slides out, doesn't manage to win it. The shots are in, and Paris respond with another offensive round win, and they're going to be advantaged for the ticks. Paris winning that offense they needed to kill Ology. You know, that last kill was so important. You know, if Killology doesn't take down that player from money, they might be able to, you know, get control of that B site and win that defensive round, but Killology said otherwise, picking up so many kills. I think he ended that round sitting at around 16 and 7. He is frying on all cylinders right now. This guy is the MVP for the Paris letdown, and he says, I'm not going down without a fight. It's one-to-one -one now, and they're on the defensive end. 
Yeah, he's not he's not letting his team lose. He said in the S and D, he doesn't <laughs> pop off like that. His team loses the S and D. He doesn't pop off like that. His team is down 0-2. Killology is not, not going to let it happen. They're not going to lose their series. And Alex M, he's going to find us with the first blood, but Stuka quickly responds. Big Dog with the trades, and he's already on the B point. He's already on the B zone with Proofio. That duo is looking to make some damage, not just in the tick department, but also in the kills. Big Dog holding this angle. Al Alqua flies out, though, going to find that kill, and now it's Proofio all alone. Going to be able to find this first tick, but the kill's going to go the way of Paris. Paris also doing such a good job of making sure they couldn't spawn close on that A site. Now Minnesota are all stuck in that garage area. We see all these players stuck in Art and Zig right now. They can push out now. Pharma, though, is here to stop them. They're on that A point, and they're unexpecting a pinch right now, and Pharma's ready to hit it. And uh, it's a lag, but Pharma's here. He gets one and Big Dog, but there's one more on that point. All of Paris letdowns around the hill right now. Minnesota Flopper have no trades available, and uh, Pharma takes control of the hill. Yeah, Magic Mike found a huge two-piece in there to k keep the life count relatively close. He goes down. We're looking at a five-life disadvantage. And Killology Stuka, they're making up for it. They're finding the kills. Alex is in the P5 area. He's going to be able to find the trade for Magic Mike. The push, though, it's all over the place. Minnesota haven't really had a concentrated effort since the start of this round. Pharma, he's going to get naded out of Zig. And here comes the first full swing push we see from Minnesota. They're swinging onto the A point. Now, with no con direct control from Paris, they're going to have to fight from this pillar zone. Yep, Minnesota Flopper on the point. They're getting the second take. Proofio with the crazy kill with the team body. I don't know what that was. But player five is behind him. He has an opportunity to make a play right here. There are three Minnesota players on this A site. They lose it, but Stuka is still behind him with that Diamante. Gets taken down by the nade. That's two down for Paris. But uh, Minnesota need to make a play at this B point. They have a minute 30 left with down two lives. They have an opportunity, Zentrix. Yeah, and Aqua is right underneath of Big Dog, who's playing inside this top apartment area. This kill is going to be so crucial for this round. Alex M kills his own duo. That's got to be a backstab. And Aqua is doing his best to play that power position towards his side. A three life disadvantage now for Minnesota. Alex M makes it a two. And the push is coming through middle. They've given up both sides of the map. Ring and water given up. And now they're opting for this kitchen push. A big gunfight middle. Big dog going to be able to ward off one of those players. Not find the kill just yet. But they're turtled and trapped inside of the kitchen. They're trapped in here, but they also can work through this. I mean, they can, you know, make a team play and get some kills. Push out. Alex M with the first one. Proofio trying to get the second one. Killology sees him. But there's still some more room to work with here. Magic Mike hitting the back. Tries to get Pharma, takes him down. Kill LG and Stuka, though, still on that point. And you got the guy in back mansion. Big Dog getting the trades. Paris just doing such a good job of making sure there's one extra guy up. Minnesota just have not been able to get on that Aqua. point. They have, not, they have not touched it yet. And Aqua in the back. He's trying to get this. He's coming through and he's getting these kills. It's a bloodbath. It's back and forth. Minnesota with two, but it's still much to do. Yeah, the trades are in. It's going to be three down from Paris, but they still hold the one life advantage. Killology's holding this angle. He's going to be able to find that, and that's going to be Shrieks as well. 50 health. The guy's 25 and 10, guys. Pharma, he's trying to help out as best he can. He's going to be able to find that cruise missile. Killology doing a great job, and with 10 seconds left, make it 8. It's going to be an absolute slaughter around the point. Proofio's the last alive. Aqua picks up a two-piece, and that round was a flurry that ended very anticlimactic, I have to say. Yeah, Killology just doing such an amazing job of playing his life in that top cutout back basketball area. I mean, you can see his name there right now, and he stayed there throughout the rest of the round, just doing such a good job of getting those kills, keeping them off the point, getting the streaks as well. Let's not forget he got an artillery during that point. Rufio might have the play of the game, but Kill Killology, he's doing the right things. Yeah, it, it, he's really just carrying his team through this right now. Obviously, he's got the support from Aqua, the guy is doing all the crucial things. He's holding those power positions, doing a great flank towards the end there to help clear up that point. Uh, but right now, it, it, it really is just all killology. The guy's got shrieks. The guy's got the gunny. He's doing a great job right now, and he's continuing to, to absolutely fry throughout this. And that's going to be a nice four wipe for Paris to start off this round number four. Big start to the round. Already down four lives. Aqua can get into this kitchen area. 21 and 16. The guy's playing such a good sub role right now. Gets taken out by Big Dog, but he's just doing his best to, you know, keep it off time. And, you know, Paris Letdowns already have this A point. They're going to have two minutes and 20 seconds to get this B point. That's a lot of time, Zentrix. And they're up five lives. 
Yeah, it's absolutely massive, and here comes the full wave of push, the orange flying through the laundry side. Magic Mike, he's able to find one, but he's going to quickly get traded out. Geology flies around, that's a nice bait and switch to glare that up. And Rufio, he's in from kitchen, he's finding those kills, and Alex M, the rest of Minnesota, are spawning up towards this court side. The splits now from Paris are going to be split towards laundry, split towards bottom bedroom. They are scattered all over the map, and this might be the exactly what they need in order to make this break from multiple pinches. Let's point out, Killology still on that kill streak. He's gonna get taken down by Alex and Proofy on the back here, but a 10 streak for Paris letdowns is uh, something you're not gonna laugh at. Stuka and crew trying to get in this hill. You know they have so much time that they can really do whatever they want. Big Dog takes him out, but his rest of his team is in that low open area. Proofio doing a good job of, you know, clearing the area. They get these four kills, and that's big for them. But they need to, you know, get off of it and uh, get in spots they need to be in because this pair of letdowns can hit from anywhere, and they can strike at any time. Yeah, right now, Alex and Proofio, they're doing the best that they can. They've got a nice supporting cast. Big Dog and Magic Mike not doing too bad, but still, the slaying pressure from Paris is just too much, and we've seen this spot before from Big Dog. He only manages to find one, though, as the push continues through Alex M, though. He's clearing up. has the free fire on Stuka, and he's going to get help from Magic Mike there. So the clear is there once again. And what was a great, overwhelming start from Paris has slowed down. They only have a one-life advantage now. Yeah, Proofio in such an important position ends up throwing his life away. Not sure if I like that, but Minnesota Floppers still have the ability to, you know, shut down another push. You know, you got player 5 and 6 pushing out the back, player 7 and 8 getting the front. This might be a nice pincer push out of the boys. Alex M gets killed in the back by Pharma. Stuka gets him as well. That's 3 down for Minnesota. They're all going to be spawning up in that laundry area, and, Mo and Magic Mike's the last one in position to stop him. Aqua and Kalaji on that point. Takes down one. Magic Mike doing a great job of slowing down the hit. Killology and a, a crew on hill right now. Getting this time. Killology get another two piece. He's just never not getting kills. Looking to get one more on to proof here right here. Killology gets taken down by Alex M. Big kills out of Alex M to shut it down, but that's a lot of time for Paris. That's two ticks. Yeah, but only a two-life advantage, and with 30 seconds left on the clock, this is still winnable for Minnesota, but here comes the second run of a push. Big Dog finds one, gonna get taken down by Pharma. Alex M found the huge kill onto Aqua, but Killology's right around that corner, and that guy does not miss shots, we know that much. Alex Whoa. M with this huge two-piece, that's gonna be absolutely massive. Proofio picks up Killology to stop that time hold, and Aqua's gonna be able to slide into Tiki. He's gonna be the last player that's looking to be able to stop time. Six to five right now, with 10 seconds left. Magic Mike, he's gonna take him down and that's the opening that Stuka needs, but here comes Big Dog. Here comes Big, Big Dog. Dog. He finds a huge two-piece, but here comes Aqua right again. Alex finds the traits. Two versus one. He's going to get there in time. He has streaks as well. The time is ticking by the side out, and Minnesota win another one by the edge of their teeth. But I think Paris did just enough to get defense, and they have the streaks. Yeah, Killology with those streaks playing so good. He's at at least double positive in this game, and he... Couldn't close it out in that 1v2, but, you know, can you blame him? That's a tough situation to be in. He's doing everything he needs for this team, and Alex M just did his best to shut it down. And uh, if you're Paris letdowns here, you love to be on the defensive side, but let's not forget, Minnesota Flopper, first round of the game, they won the first opening offense. So, you know, there is ability for them to win this round if they can put their mind to it. But as of now, it's 2-2, two to two, and it's going to be a big round, Zentrix. Yeah, Alex M, 32 and 26, Killology, 31 and 17. The guys are doing everything oh. in their power, but Aqua's going to set the tempo for this round with a nice two-piece. Proofio snaps onto the player top right, but the gun not handled for that kind of gunfight, but Alex M finds the player that was patrolling B, and now it's going to be all Aqua to line him up. They finds one, he finds the second, he slides out for the third, but Magic Mike is there for the trade. Big Dog on the point, going to get cleaned up quickly from the pinch. And now Minnesota get a reset, spawning towards A. Aqua, the last one over here to stop them. There's three Minnesota players on that A point. So they did a good job of distracting and allow them to uh, get that A control. They're not on point, but they have uh, the map control of the area. Alex M gets taken down on the point. Paris let... Oh, the streak. Yes, my bad. Paris letdowns. With the streak, you know, big use out of it, but they're still on the point. No, no kills out of it. And uh, Paris looking to get this A point. They don't want to give it up yet. Yeah, and he still has that cruise missile, so even though two ticks have gone through, Paris are still in a in a comfortable driver's seat with a four-life advantage. Not a whole lot in control, but with a streak and with both points still intact, 
it's going to be decent enough to have some sort of comfort right now for Paris. But Aqua, he's been the man this round. Killology's done it throughout the rest of this map. Talk about Aqua now. Finding multiple two pieces, multiple three pieces. Doing absolutely massive stuff for this team right now. Pharma inside of Art. He's trying to patrol this area, try to play those cuts. And right now, Paris has such a spread out map control. It almost might hurt him now as the two picks go the way. Make it three. Pharma's going to be the last player and he's going to be on this flank. He's going to look to clear it up. But Minnesota have players on both points. Yeah, they all get taken down though. Player four, the last one alive is Magic Mike. He's in money right now and gets taken down as well. That's all four players off spawn. They get the kill onto Aqua over that B site to relieve the pressure, but they know they have to go toward that B site. There's three Paris Letdowns players looking to fight right now. They take down Alex M. They take down his crew. Magic Mike is dead as well. They're on A though. They're on that A site and they have two ticks too. So they're going to be able to get this point uncontested. So, they have a minute and five left and six lives to win this game, Zentrix. It's going to be tough for them, but they have a chance. Yeah, it's going to be so rough. And with the pinches there, Pharma, oh. he's played inside of this art area. And with three lives left, with the 2v15, you still have a streak to fight through. Aqua, he's overtaken Killology in kills. He was tired of us talking about how good Killology <laughs> was doing. He shuts down anybody on this round. And Paris are going to edge out the victory 3-2 to two in this control, and they go up 2-1 in the series. Yeah, Killology and Aqua just being all-stars on the map in this raid control, taking it to where Alex M and Prufio like it the best on raid. And uh, they uh, they ended up winning 3-2, to two, going up 2-1 to one in the map count. We, that was a game we said Minnesota Paris need. Letdown's team in stride, because Aqua and Killology and obviously Stuka and Pharma playing so good as well. They're coming for your neck, and Aqua going through that mid-map, trying to get some kills. Yeah, Colors were right. Our podcaster was on top of the game, knew which side of the team we were supposed to be on even before they did. They had to end it to switch it up, but an early statement out of Paris is Pharma Killology. They're going to find these early kills. Magic Mike with a small flank. Going to be able to find an entry, but going to get taken down. Paris putting pressure on this point. Big Dog doing what he can to contest. And the contest time is definitely in, but Aqua flying out, and Alex M's there for the trades. Killology holding on to this green control, trying to set up for this PT rotation. This is what I was talking about, Zentrix. Don't let Killology get up here, because he'll be here for a few minutes. Players 6 and 8 looking to stop him, but they might not be able to. He gets one big dog with the trade, but there's one more there. It's Pharma. He's here on the rotation. Paris letdowns already with a 20-point lead, and rotations going on to new and scrap time. They're stuck in the back trains. Minnesota flopper are. It's not looking good for them. Player 7 spawning out. Paris letdowns maybe biting off a little more than they can chew. Lost their own rotation. Threw it away. Minnesota flopper in a great situation to get some kills. Proofio kills Aqua. And now Minnesota able to get on that hill, I should say. But Farmer with a big two-piece and nobody's getting points. And it's not happening soon. Yeah, the scrap, just it's because it's so scrappy. Everybody's finding kills. Killology, Pharma, they're doing a great job picking up those pieces in Aqua. He's going to be controlling this square side, and now Paris have finally found their setup, found their stride for this P2. They're killing all of the Minnesota players as they fly out of green, just getting shut down on the point right now. Aqua, he's going to look to find these early kills, but going to get taken down by Alex. And with 25 seconds left, you want to abandon this P2, get away from it, rotate over to P3. Because you're going to just continue to spawn out. But the push is there. Aqua cleans it up. Paris are going to get this scrap. And the P3 rotation is going to go the way of Minnesota. Only a hill down in the score. We've been talking so much about Aqua and Killology for this Paris side. But I'm very surprised by the play of Stuka and Pharma playing so good with that SMG and AR role. I mean, Pharma here, 7 and 5. Playing slow in this front hill. Playing the right plays. Slide cancels out. Get a couple damage in. But Paris pushing through the back. They should get these spawns if they get those kills, and there's only one player in Hill now. Killology and crew looking to push him out. Big Dog gets taken down, and spawns flip. Time goes the way of Paris, and this is not good for Minnesota. Yeah, and just with the way that Killology, Aqua, Pharma, all the players from Paris are playing right now, they're shutting down Alex and Prufio. Prufio has not had a standout performance this game. Alex is double negative. Magic Mike is going down. Only player really on the team that's positive right now is Big Dog, and he's been the one that's been making those crazy plays when they need it most. Right now, Paris is just doing absolute patchwork. This is clinical at the moment, 85 to 11. Not much else to say, but Minnesota, you've still got a chance to turn this around. It's early in the game, and you're only down one and a half hills. Jill Ollie, Jill, sitting at 10 and 2, such a great start. 11 and 3 now. Alex M takes him down, but uh, 
Minnesota in the hill. Get taken down though instantly. As I say that, I shouldn't have even said anything because Paris was so close. It was an easy trade. Aqua and Killology, the standout performers. Just he's just running around getting these kills. They're up 80 points. They can do whatever they want. They can just go for all the kills they want. Alex and Profio have no answers for them right now. 100 to 15. Big dog sitting in hill trying to get some kills, but it's just futile effort. Aqua getting all these kills around the hills on a five street sitting at 17 and 6. And when your sub is 17 and 6, that's why you're up 90 points. Yeah, are we sure this is a. Uh... Not actually the Aqua that's on the real Paris, <laughs> right, guys? I mean, I come mean, on now. The, the guy, he's running a sub, so maybe he's concealing his identity through that. Uh, never mind it, though. Minnesota finally broken onto the point. They're going to be able to grab this scrap time. They're still not a huge depth away. They still have some fight. This game's still very early into its uh, into its course. So Minnesota could definitely still fight it back. But right now, Paris is just frying on all ends. Uh, for Aqua, Killology, Stuka, Pharma, all of the guys are doing what they need to do. The stat lines are just, they, they speak for themselves, 20 and 8, the guys are frying. I mean, what else do you even want to say? Yeah, Killology has been the hero through this performance, but wow, everybody, especially Aqua in this game, really going insane. They're just getting kills. The kill feed's orange right now all the time, and it's 143 to 28. This is a quick 100 point club if you're Killology right now, 17 and 4. Get an easy lockdown on the back of that map. I mean, look at this crossfire. Player 2 just making sure they can't even leave. Proofio getting the kill, but he's not in a good spot. Killology still in the back. Picking up two more. 19 and 4, guys. He's 19 and 4 on a 5 streak. And uh, this Paris Letdowns team have not given up a point for this last hill. They have the hardest spawn trap I've seen in quite a while on Garrison, and they are not ready to give it up. Yeah, finally, Minnesota managed to get some time. It's going to be the scrap. They gain a whole eight seconds, guys. They're making the game. They're changing the momentum. <laughs> but they do have the rotation to P1, so that is something to consider. They can bring it back here. They're not that far down, all things considered. You have to start thinking about the points in terms of full hills. Right now, they're only two hills away. So if they can string together this P1 and P2, they're right back in this thing. But it looks like Paris was saying, absolutely not. Alex M, he's doing all he can, but Aqua's right back on this point. The pressure is in from both teams now. Minnesota are doing what they can. One of the players is going to fly through. He's going to be able to find Aqua. This is going to be big dog go making the big dog plays. One player that's going to go ahead and be Alex M on the rotation, but he's left his team out to dry on this P1. So while the rotation is in with about 17 seconds left, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a battle and it's not gonna be one that Alex is gonna look to win. Yeah, Aqua gets the kill on their rotation with nine seconds left. Paris let down and ready for that roto already. Proofio's here, but Aqua and Pharma looking to stop him, and he's mantling many times. He <laughs> looks to be lagging, but uh Aqua's here. He's soaking that time, and uh they're ready to get this victory. Proofio, another mantle, he's still mantling. Um uh, Pharma in the hill getting this time. And um, player eight looking to get some kills around the back. Pharma gets a big kill on a magic mic there. Big dog in the back though, but they're still on this time, and I'm sure Proofio is still mantling. Uh, probably definitely still. Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's mantling. still mantling, going for the world record and mantles right now, guys. He's playing for a different thing. And There's gonna be the timeout. I'm not gonna, not not too sure what the ruling is for this, but in all things considered, I think this is just gonna end up getting played out. Uh, not very sure. We're 20 point. We were at 180 when I saw him lag out. So it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hard ruling uh, regardless. Uh, to say Paris hasn't been absolutely dominant in this map number four would just be it would be ignorant. Look at the stat line: 24 and 13, 25 and 8. This guy's triple positive, and he's still finding kills. Yeah, Minnesota Flopper looking like the the first time we we played map one. If you remember that, Centric, it was so long ago. Um, but Paris just they're all over the place and um, Proofio coming into chat saying scan and repair again GG's and uh, that's gonna shut it down for Paris let down to GG's across the board for everybody and we had a great match today Zentrix I'm not gonna lie it was fun yeah definitely and honestly even with all that considered you know Minnesota oh that kill is dirty that kill is dirty <laughs>